Hello, it's Peter Rossthorn, and I'm back to discussing onboarding the non-technical Open Badges Infrastructure Implementer. In this particular screencast, I'm going to continue on uh, with step three, where I'm talking about creating your issuer site. In particular, I'm going to be looking at how do you configure your web server to support the JSON, JSON content type. Um, this sh is something you're going to need to do to m ensure or to configure uh, your server already supports uh, the JSON content type. Um, to figure out how to do this, I strongly suggest that you just Google uh, your server name plus the keyword content type and that should provide you information about how to uh, configure your web server to support this particular content type. Um, for this example, um, we are going to be looking at adding um, the configuration parameter, parameter to the httpd.config file of the Apache server. Um, and the reason that you want to do this is um, if you don't have your, your server configured properly, you are going to get an error message um, such as this one um, where you can see here that I was trying to issue or bake a badge uh, using the issuer API on the openbadges.org site and I was passing a parameter to it which is the particular JSON file. So this is uh, a manual uh, issuing of a badge. Um, because I did not support the correct um, uh, content type, I got this error which basically says that it's expecting a JSON file type and it was a content type error. So how we go about fixing that problem is you need to make sure that you've got your uh, ser web server configure properly. I'm running uh, an Apache server on Ubuntu here. Um, the configuration for, for this server it can be found in the slash etc slash Apache2 directory. So um, let's take a look at the, the files here. A uh, number sort of environment variables and stuff like that, but the main file that we're looking at is the HTTPD config file, and as you can see, I've already got the permissions set on it, so I can edit this file. So let's go ahead and edit the file. And what I've already done in this file is I have added uh, the configuration parameter to the file, so I only need to comment it out just for ease. Um, so why don't I go ahead and do that, and I will save the file. Um, also a good idea to uh, just confirm that uh, that save has been correctly made. So I'm just going to look at the file and, and, and present it to screen, and as you can see, that uh, particular configuration parameter has been successfully added. One of the things that you're also going to have to make sure you do is restart your server uh, so that it reloads these configuration parameters. So there we go. Um, so now we have reset the, uh, the ability to recognize the um, JSON file type and we have restarted our server. So let's go back and try to run that again. Um, it should not give us an error, but um, We'll give it a go. Ah, and as you can see, this time it did not give us an error. It provided us the fact that it did bake the badge and now is asking us where we should download it to. So I will go OK and it is just going to save the file, which it has done. Um, and the file is saved just in my file system. Um, as you can see here, the file is right here. And we could take a look at it if we really, really wanted to. Um, but there is the, the PNG file of the baked badge. Uh, the next step that we're going to need to do is just to finish this process is to upload the badge. So let's go and take a look at it. Open the badge. Uh, upload the badge. And as you can see, it has now placed the badge in the backpack. So there you have it. Um, it's very important to make sure that you have your web server configured correctly to support the JSON file type. If you need to get information about how to do it to your particular server, I suggest that you do a Google search on your server name plus the keyword content type. If you want to get even more information about how the assertions work and how all this is working from the perspective of loading a file and configuring uh, the programming language that you're using or the Apache server that you're going to be using. 
this page on the GitHub does a good job of that. It discusses it also from a programming language perspective, but at this point in time, given that we're just manually issuing badges, this isn't really of concern. It's a good page to read this one, so it really starts to get into the uh, assertion and a lot of the structure of the JSON file, but uh, back to that later. So there you go. Uh, have a good day. Um, I'll be next screencast. We're going to talking about uh, hashing um, the email with a salt value to put in the first couple of attributes of the JSON file. So stay tuned.